I have a question about MMA for you. Okay. Why do we keep hearing about the underpaying stuff? Well, right now in particular, um, there's probably less money because the fighters have to... Um, they, they, there's no gate. There's no live gate. Yeah, yeah, there's no live gate. And that's an extreme amount of money. But there's also fighters that agreed to certain deals. Mm -hmm. They agreed to like an eight-fight deal at X amount per fight. And then they become more popular, and then they want to renegotiate their deal. Yeah. And the UFC is like, look, we're just trying to stay open. Yep. We're not going to renegotiate anything. So they're like, like the, you can take yeah. it or you can leave it, but this is what it is. Yeah. I think it's a matter of that. But looking at it from the fighter's perspective, fighters would be certainly better off if there was more competition. That's always how it works. Yep. So whether it's Bellator or 1FC or all these different companies, the more of those there are, the more World Series of Fighting, the more professional fighting league, whatever the fuck it's called now, the more those rise, mm. the better it is for everyone. Mm. It's just how it is. It's like if there's only improvs and then you get banned from the improvs, you're fucked. But if you got funny bones, if you yes. got some theaters, if yes. you got these yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. It's exactly like that. You know, I've seen that happen before with people. Yeah. I've seen that happen with comedy clubs, and I've seen that happen with fighting, too. You get banned from a big organization, and then you're fucked, man. Nobody's, yeah. you, like, it's not a monopoly in that you do have cho you do have choices, but there's one clear top of the food chain right. choice. But it's because they do it the best. They're also the only ones that are having fights during this quarantine. The only people that are putting on any live sporting events. It's amazing. But they're also a part of a company in WME that's hurting and needs really, it, yeah, really bad. So there's not a lot of money to throw around, like to, to keep the doors open, to keep people employed. A lot of money is uh, is is missing, right? There's yeah, all these shows got canceled. Yeah. There's all these uh, audience members that aren't going to be there buying tickets, and so it's tricky, man. So this is why I think they're complaining about fighter pay i think they should get paid more right i think everybody should get paid more i'm right. thinking it's a crazy way to make a living i think you should get the most amount of money you can possibly get yep but it's also a business and i think that if they are struggling as much as i think they are mm. I, I don't talk finances with them but i know that wme the people who own it yeah they're hurt yeah bad they're yeah. laying people off yep most businesses are hurting it's it, and all the entertainment business is fucked. Live yeah. Nation's fucked. Yeah. Right? All these people are fucked. Yeah, big time. So what do they do? That's what I think. But, yeah. you know, when it comes to me as a as a human that likes fighting, I, I know how fucking dangerous that shit is. You should get paid an incredibly generous amount of money to step into a cage fight for millions of people to see. Yeah, yeah. It is interesting because you have, um, you have this situation where, like, the quality of the fights is undeniably better because it's not in the free market. You have people that are really good at picking out fights. Mm. And for the most part, I say this as a boxing fan, right? So I grew up in boxing where there are tons of different divisions or tons of different companies, if you will, right. WBC, WBO, all different these different promoters. Things, different promoters. And sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, right? But like, right. it's a mess. And then sometimes what happens is you have guys who are like really boring fighters but they get a position where they have the belt and then it actually hurts the sport in a way. But they earned it and they deserve it. So as like a sportsman, I'm like, they deserve to have it. Like a lot of people, I love Floyd Mayweather. I think he's the best fighter in the history of fighting, right? I think he's actually one of the greatest people at their job ever. Like I think he's Michael Jordan of boxing. He's one of the, without a doubt, one of the greatest boxers, if not the greatest boxer that has ever lived. It's He's unbelievable. 50-0. But he... For average people, fought bo for me, I loved it, but for average people, thought it was boring, so he needed the antics. Yeah, he needed to get people angry at him. Yeah, the yeah. gimmick, right? And it yeah. worked, but the thing is with the UFC is I'll watch guys I don't fucking know, and I'll enjoy it, and I feel like I don't know if that's just because of the sport, but also because of the way that they're matching the fighters. And it's not specifically, hey, you're ranked here, you're ranked here, we have to match you. Part of it is... You're ranked here, you're ranked here, but also your styles would make something interesting. So I wonder if it's- You're correct. No. Do you yeah. think it's better to not be completely free market? Do you think it's better to have the fights for the quality of the sport? If you're a fan, it's certainly better for you right. if the fighters get- If they all get together in one organization and then that organization makes them fight each other. 
That way there's not as many dream matchups you never get to see. Right. Like one of the things that everybody got upset was by the time Floyd fought Manny Pacquiao, it was like past Manny's prime right. and Manny had a bum shoulder and all these different things. Yeah. We would have liked to see that fight five years earlier. And in the UFC. That fight gets made. Easily. Yeah, it gets made. But it gets to a situation where a guy like John Jones says, hey, I've got a contract for light heavyweight fights, but... Uh, you know, what do you want to give me to fight Francis and Gano? Because I want a lot of fucking money because that guy's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. And uh, they say, well, you get what you're paid in your contract. That's what you get. And he's like, well, I'm not fighting then. And they go, okay. 